Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Pisces. So if you're a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Pisces, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it lie. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, rules can get reversed, so take how it resonates. of cups all right the fool uh, someone is wants to take a risk here they're thinking of taking a risk because and the reason this person is thinking of taking the risk is because they're overflowing with emotions right now so it's a very emotional sort of an energy from this person it's like emotional this person feels like they want to take a risk they want to do something big here could be dealing with an aries or aquarius i mean this person feels like they want to be spontaneous they want to do something good they want to do something grand here that's the kind of energy you know but this is like emotionally like fantasizing sort of a thing here. That, this is not very like, practical energy. Temperance. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah, this person. This is someone who could have been uh, like. You could have been expecting some sort of action from this person, but you never got anything from this person. This person never did anything uh, here. Like you could have been waiting for this person to do something and this person didn't. So this person knows that there has been a lot of stagnancy here. Like they could have been just waiting. They, they were not doing anything. They were just waiting to take that risk. They were waiting to make some changes. It's like that energy, constant energy of this person wanting to take that risk, feeling like they want to take that risk, feeling like they want... Um, to make some grand gesture here but then they just hold back and not do it so this is not this feels like someone this is not the first time this person has felt like they want to do something here they want to be spontaneous they want to take some action this is not the first time this person has felt that and this feels like a recurring thing for this person like this person wants to do something they want to offer you something they want they are feeling a lot of feels here and they want to do something from their feelings but immediately this person just holds back and doesn't do anything. Five of Pentacles. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the reason this person feels is feeling that emotional is feeling like they want to take a risk or do something grandiose because they feel sad and alone. They feel sad alone. They feel miserable. They feel isolated. They, they are worrying a lot. This person feels defeated. You know, someone who's, who's exhausted here. Not to mention, for some of you, this person could be like someone who is fearing. Okay. This is what I'm getting. The reason this person wants to approach you, the reason they want to come towards you is because they are they're fearing lonely. This person is fearing that they are going to be lonely for the rest of their life and they're no, never going to find someone like you. They were, they're never going to meet someone like you or they're never going to fall in love. They're not going to have emotions. They are not going to feel like someone really, really cares or loves them like you did. So it is like out of this loneliness, out of this fear, out of this... Um, 
insecurity this person wants to come towards you they want to approach you they want to uh, ma ma make a move towards you it's out of insecurity here the fear of being alone it's almost like this person is dreading the fear of being alone here for the rest of their life Not so much this person is really missing the stability you both were building or had, the stability, the foundation, the, you know, the safety net, the security kind of thing this person felt with you. For some of you, you could be financially providing, like you financially provided for this person or you were just, if not financially, like you were emotionally like a safety net for this person. It could be financially you were a safety net for this person or it could be emotionally you were a safety net for this person. And this person feels like no one is ever going to be that way to them ever again. Five, five, five there. Nine of Cups. Bottom of the deck is Empress. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or a Sagittarius, but I didn't already mention that. Yeah, it's almost like someone who is looking at you like a wish fulfillment. They know no one is going to treat them as good as you did. No one is going to make them feel as good as you did. So they want to feel good again. They want to feel balanced again. It's almost like this person is feeling, this is someone who's not feeling at peace here. The peace is gone. The mental peace, the emotional stability, that is sort of gone here. And this person wants to feel the same way again. They want to feel emotionally balanced. They want to feel stable again. And this is stemming out of insecurity and fear for this person. Like someone is fearing being alone for the rest of their life. Fearing not having someone like you. Fearing that no one is going to ever love them like the way you did. Ten of Swords, yeah, hurt, lot of pain. Ten of Swords is a lot of pain. Feeling betrayed, feeling alone, feeling like this is someone who's feeling like they're all alone in the world. Pisces, you are the healers of the zodiac, right? So of course you had a healing effect on this person. And right now this person feels like they are in a lot of pain. This person could be experiencing some sort of financial loss or going through a financial crisis as well here. They could be going through a tough period and they are experiencing a lot of betrayal. For some of you, this person is experiencing betrayal from people around them. So any friend, acquaintances, or I don't know, like, I don't know why I said acquaintances. I wanted to say co-workers, friends, co-workers, uh, family. Someone could have betrayed this person and this person is experiencing some sort of uh, deep pain and betrayal here. And this person feels right now they don't have anyone by their side or they don't have anyone to care about them, to love them, to heal them like the way you did. Like, again, that energy of someone feeling really, really defeated by everything that has happened here. And now that they are feeling defeated, the only person they are reminded of is you. Like something in their uh, life could be collapsing right now. Things could be falling apart for this person. Some tower moments could be happening. Multiple tower moments could be happening for this person. Some of you... Whatever loss or betrayal this person is experiencing, it is reminding you... Sorry, it's reminding them of you for some reason. Could be it's just reminding them of how they betrayed you. Could be karma, although we don't have the justice. But before I started the reading, justice was there at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this could be karma for this person.
So that's your energy. The High Priestess. You could be dealing with another Pisces here. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Wands. And the seven of pentacles, so seven, seven. I don't know, the, the, the energy I got from the high priestess is like, this is someone who feels like you can fix their life. With you and their life, everything was good. Everything was sorted, everything was stable. You fix their life, you fix them in a way. I don't know how you did that, but this is how this person feels. And this person feels like if they are with you again, you will be able to fix whatever is falling apart in the life. 11-11. You could fix that. Also, the four of wands is the 11-11 card. So, yeah, you can fix that. This person feels like with you, everything was good and secure and stable in their life. And this person feels like they can't fix things all by themselves. So they need someone else to fix that. And that person is you. Yeah, there's the reason this person wants you back is just insecurity, fear, and is selfishness. Because now nothing is good in their life. Now nothing seems stable. Now things are falling apart. Now others are betraying them. So now they want you. Now they are reminded of you. You know, like, you would know how to fix the things that are falling apart in their life. You would know. The strange energy. This is a very... The energy is very dizzy here for some reason. Like, I'm feeling like dizzy suddenly. Okay. okay, what just happened? Oh, uh, I got two cards here. Five of swords in reverse, yeah. They feel like a failure. They want to make amends here. Two of swords. It is a bit of a difficult decision for this person to make a move towards you, to approach you. Because look at that. Two and five of swords. We have the three of swords in the mix. Three of swords is heartbreak. This person put you in a third party situation. This person, well, that's just heartbreak and pain. So the remorse, the regret of what they have done is finally setting in on this person. And it's not because this person suddenly realized something. It's because the external circumstances of this person or the universe forces, like made this person realize things, made this person see things from a different perspective here. This is also someone who's weighing their options definitely with the two of swords. Like what would happen if they approach you? What would happen if they come towards you or make a move towards you? What are you going to say? What are you going to do? Is it a good idea? Is it not a good idea? Hence the reason this person wants to make this, uh, take this leap of faith, but immediately they hold back with the temperance here because they feel like they need to, it's like this is someone who is, I need to know if I'm making the right decision. This person is fearing that they are going to end up making more mistakes in their life, like they have already made mistakes and they're going to make more mistakes in their life.
you are showing up in this person's energy line. Look at that. Bottom of the deck is four of wands upright. Ace of wands. You look at that. I just randomly cut the deck. We have the justice here. Yeah, the justice was at the bottom of the deck when I started shuffling this deck and the justice coming out here randomly. This person could be experiencing some sort of karma here. It's almost like this very, uh, the high priest just seems like a very mysterious kind of energy here. Is there something like it's drawing me in, but at the same time, the high priestess is not talking anything. It's not saying anything. The card itself is not saying anything to me. Uh, and it's funny because the high priestess is supposed to be silent, right? She doesn't talk much. She just knows. She doesn't talk. Oh, okay. Well, for some of you, you always knew that this person is going to realize what they have done. For some of you, you always knew that this person will regret be remorseful of what they have done they will someday understand what they have done they will someday experience karma they will get the reap what they have sold they will want this new beginning with you someday one day this person will be back wanting that new beginning with you you just knew You just knew this person is going to mess things up in their life. That's what I got as well. Three of Cups. This person sees you living it, doing good, living life, being happy, while they are being miserable. They feel you are happy while they are suffering. Like, you know, like the wheel has turned. Look at the bottom of the deck is just two of cups. For some of you, you could have met someone new as well here with the two of cups and the three of cups. Because three and two of cups, we have the ace of cups in the mix. Yeah, this person feels like you are living your life. You are having good time. While they are just alone and miserable and unhappy. Like, it's your turn to be happy and it's their turn to feel miserable. Seven of Cups, you have options, you have, you're having good time. Look at that Ace of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this person feels like you are literally having a new beginning somewhere else. Like you are good, you are fine, you are manifesting new stuff here. Nothing is bothering you. Like you have suffered because of this person, because of this connection, but it's not your turn to suffer anymore. It's their turn. You have the Ace of Wands repeated twice here. And the Ace of Cups, two aces. Yeah, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, I just noticed in this person's energy. So they do, they do want that new beginning.
and you knew that you you knew that this person will they will know who they have lost what they have lost Three and seven of cups, four of cups in the mix. Yeah, this person feels like for some of you, this person feels the reason you are ignoring them is because you have already found someone new. You have already found someone else. This person could have seen some pictures of you as well. Look at that. Eight of cups here. Three of cups, seven of cups, eight of cups, seven and eight of cups. We have the ace of cups in the mix. So yeah, you are getting some sort of wish fulfillment. Like you are reaping the benefits of good karma here. The three cups card. You're walking away. You're walking away from them. You're walking away from any sort of disappointment here. It's literally like you are not wasting your time dwelling in the past. You're not wasting your time thinking about them or waiting for them or anything. Like you're not wasting your time on this person, on, on this connection anymore. Because you have reasons to celebrate. You have people in your life you want to celebrate. And here's the thing. This is what this person feels like. You have people in the life you... Sorry. You have people in your life that you will want to celebrate with. You have friends. You have a good support system. You have people cheering you up. But they don't have anyone like that. They, they don't have that. It's like this person. Okay, this is getting deep. This person. Ex this person feels like they don't have anyone to fall back upon now that they are experiencing some bad stuff in their life going through some bad shit in their life this person feels like they don't have anyone to fall back upon they could have if they had you they could have relied upon you they could have fall back on you and you would have been there for them world could be dealing with fixed sign star scorpio leo aquarius look at that the tower okay you can't see that can you the tower yeah they see you sorry you feel like this was a lesson you were supposed to learn and this is you have learned that lesson and this is you have completed an important chapter in your life you have achieved so something here that is how you feel that you have achieved something here for some of you the lesson you were learning here was all about self-love giving to yourself first having those strong boundaries that was a lesson you were learning Feeling whole all by yourself. And you have learned that lesson. Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you had some self-limiting beliefs. You had some trauma, some wounding, some issues. You needed to heal. You needed to work upon. You needed to fix so that you can move forward, so that new doors can open for you. It's like there was this uh, lesson that you needed to learn. And until unless you learn that lesson, you will not be able to go to the next chapter, go to the next, you know, next chapter of your life. Like a, it was like 
what is that called? Rite of passage sort of a thing, you know? That's the energy I'm getting. Yeah. We have the high priestess here. And the hierophant is the high priest. So we have counterpart energies. Yeah, you're wiser. You have wisened up. And there's justice at the bottom of the deck. Some truth you have realized about yourself. You probably had some inner conflict, some... Like, you know, some inner conflict, some trauma, some woundings. Some confusion you have. Could be regarding anything. And this is what I'm getting randomly, but some confusion you had, some... Um, Some sort of lesson you had to learn. Some of you that lesson could be simply like not listening to your intuition. Some of you had ignored that intuition, not paid attention to it. And now you are you learn the lesson, you learned to see the truth. For some of you just learned to see people for who they are, learn to see truth, learned to not have those rose colored glasses on. You wisened up. Some of you, this was a past life, and this is again, I'm getting this randomly. For some of you, this was a past life debt you needed to pay. But, like, as soon as you pay that debt, you will be able to step in the next chapter of your life. Queen of Cups, yeah, they have feelings for you. This person has feelings for you and they can't deny it. Three of Wands. They miss the comfort of being with you. They miss the comfort of being with you. What of the deck is Hermit? You could be dealing with a Virgo. of sorts mm, okay the heck? let me clarify something have the ace of cups as the first card in this person's energy this person doesn't want this relationship relationship sorry they don't want this relationship to end they want this don't want this connection to end they don't want you to end this that's what I got they don't want you to end this This person feels like new opportunities are coming up for you. New doors are opening up and you are going to take those opportunities and move ahead. And you're going to leave them behind. And they will never find someone as emotionally stable and caring and giving as you. They will be left all alone. They already feel alone. They will be left all alone. Yeah, 
seven of cups. No wonder that I had to clarify these cards because these cards are like positive, negative, positive, negative. So yeah, this is a, again someone, they need to make a decision here. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to give someone else another, someone else chance and not give them another chance. They don't want you to leave them behind. But at the same time, this person feels like they don't know what actions they should take here or if it's going to even matter. Like, yes, look at that temperance again. All this person is doing is holding back and trying to be patient, like trying to buy more time here. I don't know why this person is trying to buy more time, but apparently that is what this person is doing. We already have the temperance here. So they are trying to buy more time. Oh, okay. But some of you, the reason this person is trying to buy time is because they feel like if they wait for you enough, for long enough, you will be back for them. If they can show you that they are still waiting for you, you will be back for them. I don't know how they're going to show that. That's the energy I'm getting. They could be also waiting for you, you know, like uh, to see if you have moved on with someone else or not. If you've already found someone else or not. If you're still interested in them. Like if they wait long enough, they will be able to see. They are definitely stalking you. This is someone who's stalking you. And this person might feel like you already have someone else. Three of swords here. And that is why this person is afraid of approaching you. Because they, they will feel rejected by you. They will feel like, you know, like, they will be hurt again if you reject them. If they approach you and you reject them because you already have someone else, they will be hurt again. Knight of Swords. Hermit, Virgo energy, Ooh, the devil, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, yeah, they are still obsessed with you, they are still obsessed with you, um, yeah, they, they want to approach you out of their own need. Here's the problem with this person. They want to approach you out of their own need because their life is not working out without you. They are feeling miserable without you. It's like they want you to fix their life. That's the only reason this person wants you back. Like that's, that's what they want. Because they are not well without you. It's like them, them, them. It's all about them. It's nowhere about you, like nothing about what you have gone through or, or what you have experienced or what they did to you was wrong. Now that their life is miserable and not working out, now they want you. I don't like the reason behind this person wanting you back. But yeah, they, they, they want to approach you. They want to communicate to you. They want to talk to you as well. They are stuck on you. They are hooked to your energy. They feel attached to you. They feel drawn to you. They are so bound to you. And nothing or no one else is making this person feel like you did. So hence they need you back or want you back. And that's your reading, Pisces. I hope you found some. Well, this was a very exhausting reading. 
Um, I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.